a little progress on insulating the van floor. So I've cut strips of XPS foam board. This is half inch and glued it down between the ribs of the van floor. That's glued down using Loctite 300 adhesive sprayed on both sides. So it's in there. I mean, it's, uh, it's not moving. So that's all the way across. Now I've got to put in the rigid foam board that I've cut to size and it's got to go around these tracks in the floor. So let me show you what I did. When we bought the van, it had a stock floor in there, but it wasn't insulated. So I pulled that out and I used it to create a template on this sheet. Now that I've got those tracks installed, I took this and set it down the way it should go and pushed on it. And these right there and there and there and there and there, those are indentions from the clip in points up there. So now I know where those tracks should be and I've taken measurements traced out along each of those and I'm going to cut them and test fit it. Scroll blade on the jigsaw. Here we go. Test fitting the front portion of the three quarter inch foam board over the seat tracks. Pretty great fit on the first try. Very happy with that. Now I need to pull this board out and trace it onto the plywood, keeping the holes just a little bit tighter so that it'll look nice and finished once I get the vinyl floor over top of the plywood. The foam insulation under the floor has been glued down and marked. Each of these lines is where there is a strip underneath. These will be used so I can lay out the hydronic heating system. So I'm gonna put a loop of PEX with my router. So here we have our printed diagram of the floor. We zoom out. Traced in red is where the heated floor loop will go. So I'm gonna get my router, cut it out. That was a dusty mess. Covered in XPS dust. I'm gonna go get my shop back and clean this up. Hopefully those tracks are all straight enough. Let's see what we got. You look at the routed tracks for the hydronic floor. So this is in three quarter inch XPS foam with half inch strips underneath. Now I'm gonna put a sheet of quarter inch plywood over top of this after inlaying the PEX. We'll have a heated floor. Here is the hydronic floor layout. PEX piping is in, inlaid in the floor. All the loops are down. Check that out. Very cool. Now the plywood subfloor will go over top of this. We're going with quarter inch plywood so that the heat can actually radiate through. Wood's a pretty decent insulator, so um, half inch plywood I've heard that it just kind of blocks the heat transfer. Don't want that. So here's the floor loop. Very pleased with how this has come out. A quick look at the stub ups. And this is how I've had to rig it where I've got a PEX elbow here that stubs these straight up. And I've cut holes in my plywood subfloor to drop right over top of that. So these will be the two terminations of the loop. These pieces will get cut down with ball valves on them to uh, cut access to the loop so the glycol doesn't always have to run through the floor.
the van floor, we have an 8 by 12 sheet of sheet vinyl. This is a remnant cut sheet that I found at Home Depot for like $45. Here's a look at that finished sheet vinyl floor. Got some things on top of it now, so you're not seeing much of the edges, which is actually good. Looks really, really nice. And if you look here, you can see the floor system. So you got the half inch, three quarter inch with the PEX embedded, quarter inch ply, and sheet vinyl.